Uh, we have Hank in Texas, uh, and he wants to talk to us about non-human animals and the existence of God. So welcome, Hank. How can we help? Hey, man. How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, Arden. How are you? Doing good. Thanks, Hank. What's up? What's your question or your topic? Uh, can I first say, hey, Matt, have you ever seen American Idol on TV by chance? American Idol? Yes. Uh, you are like the Simon Cowell of atheists because <laughs> even those people that don't like can't wait to hear what you've got. Well, thank you. That's uh, my favorite thing anyone's ever said. Thank you, Hank. That was a gift. Yes, I'm pretty sure I will be hearing a, a Simon Cowell reference at, like at some point <laughs> later this week, especially if I mention Judy. Oh, my God. Anyway, thank you so much, Hank. Uh, you, you, so for, you're getting ready to tell us how you think non-human animals I don't know, somehow prove the existence of God. Is that right? Uh, I think it indicates that, Matt. I, uh, let me say I discovered your program several months ago. And I debate climate change online a lot and found your program has really helped me focus my arguments and the subject. Uh, but somewhat incredibly to me, as I've been thinking about uh, focusing on the subject and everything, I have actually found other reasons that I think there is a God because I was hanging on by a thread at one time when I first called in, uh, thinking consciousness was was it, and yeah. have come up with two or three things. But right now, you mentioned in passing the other day something about uh, slavery of other species. Uh, you didn't elaborate on it, but uh, I was just wondering, what are your thoughts about the slavery of other species? I don't recall mentioning slavery of other species um, because I don't view our interactions with other species as slavery. Can I, can I ask real quick? I, I want to I make sure we get to this. Um, but when you say you debate climate change, and we're not going to go into a climate change debate here, I just wanted to know, um, are you debating that climate change is real or that is not real? Absolutely. I have children and grandchildren I'm extremely worried about. Cool. Good. So uh, my view on uh, humans is, and, and other animals um, is that we are essentially stewards of the planet, and but primarily with a focus on how it all impacts us. Um, so I don't view having pets as slavery the way some on, on the far, far left might do. Uh, I know that some of the animal rights organizations view any sort of uh, having a pet as slavery. I don't, I don't view it that way. Uh, I am concerned about the way we treat animals, certainly concerned about factory farming and things like that, uh, and cruelty towards animals and stuff like that. Um, but I would never put it in the same category as slavery. Um, but anyway, you, you said you you were thinking on this and came up with something where the existence of other animals somehow demonstrates or makes a God more likely. So let, let's sort that out. Okay. Uh I was thinking more of since we own animals and they do our bidding and work that I thought of it as slavery after it was just mentioned. I, I'm, you know, at one time and I started thinking about it. Uh, and it bothered me at first that I couldn't come up with a good reason for why we should be able to even do that to other species. I'll call it enslave them, but whatever name we want to use for it. Because I didn't want to say that we were superior to other species since I don't like using that word with other races or anything. I found it completely objectionable. But it finally dawned on me that I really do think we are superior to the other species. Uh, and for that reason, it, it gives us the allowance to what I would call enslave them, make them do our bidding and stuff, as long as we treat them humanely. And since I think that, for me, it was, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a kind of a short trip to think there's, if we're superior to the other animals, then something superior to humans 
might exist. And I saw that for me as indication there might be a God. What do you think? Okay. Um, so I think it's easy and okay to say we're superior to other animals as long as you're going to say in this particular category, like I'm smarter than a chicken. I'm not faster than a cheetah. I'm not, you know, kinder than a bonobo or whatever. It, 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 you have to do it with the recognition that we're being very human centric and biased when we start picking the categories and under which we're going to be the superior ones. When you talk about humans using other animals, yes, we do that probably more and better than anybody else, but there are plenty of uh, relationships where uh, animals cooperate and work together or leverage other animals to do their work for them. And there are plenty of animals that, are, that use tools. So the fact that we're in this position where, Currently, we're, we probably our tool use is better than any other animal. I, I think that's just an objective fact, and that we are more likely to use animals for our benefit, not just for food, but I mean as work animals, etc., uh, more proficiently than other animals have. Shows that we're better at that. But better at X doesn't mean better. And even if it did mean that we were better, kind of universally, I don't know how that gets us to therefore there's a God or there's likely a God. What are you thinking, Arden? I mean, it, well, I definitely agree that it doesn't get us anywhere near the the, uh, the existence of a God. And I think in terms of like our superiority to animals, like I, I think, so like we, sure we use animals for, for like work and stuff like that, like a, a livestock or something, but there's also the factor that even if we decided to stop using animals for as livestock for like work or whatever, um, they're all domesticated. It's not like we can just release those animals back into the wild. Like they're our responsibility. Now we have to take care of those animals. They've we've caused them to evolve in a direction where they rely on humans to survive for the most part, or at least in some, in some uh, regard. So yeah, I don't. I don't think we have a justification to use animals because we're superior to them. I think we have a we have an obligation to take care of animals because we've caused them to be dependent on us. Uh, yeah, well, you you could make the case that our use of animals isn't a demonstration that we're superior, but that we're a demonstration that we're inferior. Like we can't get along yeah. without exploiting them for our benefit. And Absolutely. if you looked at it and in the terms of exploiting them for our benefit. There's nothing about that that is good in the sense of moral or righteous. It is good in the sense that it benefits us. But I don't know. What, how, how does that get us to a God, Hank? Or even likely a God? Like I said, Matt, uh, I, I was thinking some of the things you said I haven't thought about. But I was thinking more of we dominate animals. Nope, there's not any other animals that dominate humans. And that's where I kind of came up with us being superior to the animals. And like I said, it, it was a short step for me to say if there is kind of a hierarchy of animals as far as dominating, as far as humans dominating other animals uh, that I call superior, then maybe there's uh, something superior to humans. That I, I get that. was. But then even even then, wouldn't you be like hinting at the potential for there to exist an animal that's superior to humans, not not a supernatural entity? I, I, don't, I don't see where that. Yeah. When our from. alien overlords arrive, and turn <laughs> us into slaves, then you'll right. find the next most dominant species. I, I get it. It's natural. <laughs> what, what you're doing, Hank, is is something very similar to what human beings have done throughout history, which is, hey, I see a human. And I see another human and this human is faster than that human. And so maybe there's a fastest human. Maybe there's a smartest human. Maybe there's a fastest being or a smartest being that isn't human. It's a natural progression. However, if we're going to say that that thing exists, that there's something beyond us, um, is it using us too? Like, if you're in order for your your kind of analogous argument or analogous argument to, to work, 
you would say, ah, look, we humans dominate other animals, therefore we are superior to us. And it seems plausible that maybe there's a being who is similar to us, which as Arden pointed out, you still didn't get to supernatural or God, but wouldn't that also suggest that they are using us? And if our use of animals can be viewed as in our benefit, but not necessarily a moral good, then whatever being is using us, if we figure it out, that doesn't mean that they're good, right? Uh, I agree. Hadn't thought of that, but I, yeah, that doesn't mean they're good. Yep. And right now, not only does it not mean that they're good, we also don't know that it means they exist. So while I can follow your reasoning down to, wow, that would be a possible, that could be a likely, whatever else, uh, I don't see any evidence for it. And um, yeah, I guess I'll stop there. I hope that was helpful. Yeah, it was. I'm always interested in what you think about about things because uh, other people often have ideas that I certainly don't think about. Yep, I appreciate it, Hank. We're going to let you go because i got a bunch of other calls to get before we run out of time, but we appreciate you. Yeah, thanks, Hank. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that Hank's an honest interlocutor. I feel like we, we get a lot of people on other sides of arguments, whether it's here or transatlantic or wherever, and you know, you can point out to them where their reasoning is flawed and they'll just say, okay, well, how about this other argument then? They'll just jump yeah. ship when at least Hank's willing to say, oh yeah, okay, I didn't think about that. Yeah, and I think that's great in the sense that there's plenty of things that I haven't thought about. You're going to come up with stuff yeah. I haven't thought about. I'm going to come up with stuff you haven't thought about. That's the whole point of having these conversations. You and I have had conversations where I, I expected like, oh, we, we'll start talking about something. I was like, oh, this is going to be like, long and complicated and maybe have to tiptoe and then one or the other of us will say something and we'll just be like oh yeah and light bulbs click so, yep in, in a metaphorical sense i don't actually just sit here and turn the lights on and on but i will next time you're over i'll just okay good. mess with the switch i mean it's your electricity bill not mine so <laughs> fair point <laughs>